back to my channel or if you're a new viewer welcome to my channel and I hope you're doing well so as you can see by the title today's video is one that is very exciting because I'm gonna be taking you along with me for an entire week of travel prep now if you guys caught up with my last video already which if you haven't I'm gonna link it down below for you to watch after this video you'll know that I'm actually gonna be working again with formerly e this year which is something that I am beyond excited about for anyone that's new I do presenting for them and yeah last year Year. I did a full season with them which was so much fun but this year guys I'm not even gonna lie the places that we're traveling to are insane we're gonna be going to Seoul in Korea we're gonna be going to Jakarta New York Monaco Mexico like there's a full calendar which spans across five continents there's 16 races I I just can't wait for it guys as you can probably see I'm very very excited about it all but yeah the first race of this season is actually in Saudi Arabia so that's what I'm prepping for in this week's video um, as you guys know Saudi was also the first race of last season which for me was also my first race so it was a really surreal experience but unfortunately because of corona I didn't actually get to go out into Saudi it was a full bubbles event so we went straight from the hotel to the racetrack um, but this year we are thankfully not in a bubble I mean I literally gonna have to touch wood here because as we know the situation with covid is changing all the time fingers crossed it's all good and as we currently stand i am going to be allowed to go out and explore the city which is something that i cannot wait for and obviously we'll be taking you along with me for we are going to be visiting Riyadh, which i think is the capital of saudi i might be wrong i'm gonna have to fact check that so yeah i just thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me for all of the prep for this trip from everything from fashion to beauty to hair nails I mean just the whole shabam. So if you're looking forward to this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button and yeah without further ado let's get started with the first category which is going to be fashion. Okay coat is already on I'm literally gearing up for what I imagine is going to be a whole day out in central London getting some shopping done. So as I'm sure a lot of you know the dressing in Saudi is meant to be very conservative to be respectful of their culture which for a lot of people they're kind of put off by it but I'm actually really looking forward to it. So yeah I'm going to be buying pieces that I wouldn't typically normally wear. Criteria that we've been given are long sleeves and something which ideally comes to about your ankles. So I currently already bought a couple of dresses, one from Ted Baker and one from H&M, which I'll show you later when I'm back home with hopefully some more clothes from today. Yeah, the plan is to try and find dresses that are still conservative and obviously moderate, but that I still actually would wear in my normal day-to-day -day personal style. So with that in mind, I feel like it's gonna be a very long day shopping. For your sake, I'm honestly just gonna make this a montage because if I vlog every moment of my day out today, you guys will probably go insane. I'm sure I will have lots and lots of thoughts going through my mind and be low-key stressed and that's not the energy I want to bring to you. So cue the shopping montage and then when I'm back home I will give you a full haul. joking when I left the last clip I literally have taken a full 24 hours to recover because after that shopping trip I I actually just died I think I was out for about six hours in total I started off at the Kings Road made my way to Regent Street went into literally any store that sells women's clothing but yeah in the end it all worked out because I have this bag here um, and got two beautiful dresses from Ted Baker and one dress from Zara I quickly wanted to show you guys because I'm actually about to head out to go and do my my hair appointment but yeah the first dress which I picked up from Ted Baker is this gorgeous blue dress it's like such a beautiful and vibrant color that's gonna look so lovely on my skin tone it's like this v-neck really oversized dress which is obviously perfect for Saudi and then it has a belt which I can cinch it in at the waist next up from Ted Baker I picked up this dress which I feel like as soon as you see you get desert vibes that's what all my friends have said when I've showed them it um, it's essentially the same style except this one has like a 
tie neck at the front. Um, but yeah, again, really puffy sleeves and then it has a belt that I can cinch it in at the waist and then it just goes all the way down so that it's obviously appropriate for Saudi. And yeah, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, Ted Baker really caught me off guard. I didn't realize how amazing their customer service is. Like when you're shopping, someone's like, putting all the dresses that you're holding in a fitting room and they're constantly checking in for sizes and stuff. Yeah, overall, Ted Baker really impressed me. Um, then I just popped into Zara and I picked up this dress, which I'll be honest, don't absolutely love it, but it's just a dress that works and it was really cheap. $12.99 in the sale from £50. Um, and obviously, again, it just fit the criteria with it being really long. So I just picked that up for like a day where I'm not really filming anything um, major at the track. So yeah, that's everything which I picked up. My Uber is now downstairs, so I'm gonna head out so that I'm not late for this appointment. But last night, actually, I was having a really interesting conversation with my friend about hair. So I wanted to bring you guys along with me on that conversation and talk to you and address some stuff. So we'll do that in the Uber. But yeah. I'll see you guys when I'm on my way to the hair salon. Okay guys, so I'm in the taxi and I'm on my way to the salon and thought I would pick up on the conversation because I realized after having this conversation with my friend yesterday that if anyone is like fairly new to my channel or I have joined in like the last two or three years, then a lot of you have never actually seen me with my natural hair, which I always get so many questions about and thought I'd have a little conversation about it. Um, if you guys are an OG, beauty by day and days, pink bedroom days, then you'll know that I would always have my natural hair out. It was actually relaxed, which I am not gonna lie. I know that a lot of people are very anti-relaxing, but I absolutely loved it it was the easiest way for me to style it so i had it out all the time would throw in the occasional clip in but mainly we just have it up in a bun for like school and stuff and then i feel like what year was it maybe in like 2016 2017 there was a massive transition away from relaxing hair into doing um like the natural hair journey lots of people were doing the big chop and for me personally i was definitely not ready to do the big chop because i liked having my longer hair um so i decided to do transitioning which for anyone who doesn't know what that means it's when you just grow out your relaxed hair so you have like straight ends and then like obviously your natural hair texture which for me is 4c hair so i was transitioning for a bit um it worked really well when i was having braids and stuff but then when i was doing like leave out i'd have to straighten my hair all the time which was so damaging for it with heat damage obviously so i then went back to more protective styles like the looks that you've been seeing in more recent years like the last couple of years and now i'm in a really weird sort of deliberation between what i'm doing next because i've now grown out all of the relaxed ends when i was in lagos in 2019 they actually did a big chop without me asking but i was happy because my hair was at a good length anyways but now i'm like okay what do i do because i still do not know how to manage like natural hair well whatsoever so i wanted to ask you guys if any of you have like good natural hair youtubers if you could link them below if they do videos on how to maintain it or different hairstyles I'd really really be interested or alternatively which is what I'm leaning towards but it kind of feels like a waste I just need to know that if I decide to relax my hair and you see me with my relaxed hair this summer if you guys will cancel me or not because <laughs> I feel like it's such a controversial thing but it's just the easiest thing for me it's like how I grew up with my hair and yeah I want to start rocking my own hair more so that's where I'm at in the meantime whilst I'm still stuck on that decision I'm going to be getting braids as I think I mentioned in one of my last videos um so I'm currently in North London heading to the salon now I'm going to this place called Simply Gorgeous which I only go to for my braids in the UK they're so so good typically if it was up to me I'd be getting them done in Lagos just because you have five people doing your hair at once so it gets done in two hours but I believe there are two stylists that are going to be working on it today so shouldn't be there for too long she says watch how again I come back and pick up on this at like eight o'clock but yeah I am approaching there now it's honestly such a pretty salon it's like all pink um and yeah I'm gonna be doing a wash deep condition blow dry and then we're gonna go in with the braids so I will take you guys along with me for it all
now the next day, I kid you not, I think I was actually at the salon for about seven hours yesterday. But it was so worth it because I am absolutely loving the new hair. I got it done at Simply Gorgeous Salon, which is in Northwest London, and the very lovely Leslie did my hair. There were actually meant to be two people doing my hair, which would have made it about four hours. Um, but the other woman unfortunately couldn't make it, so I felt really bad. But yeah, Leslie absolutely smashed it. I love it. The length is perfect. And then yeah, it's the middle part at the top, which by the way, lols, why have we got a spot? Very random. Anyways, hopefully that goes. But what I requested also was that the front would be really neat so that I can have it up and everything looks really good. Yeah, I'm very, very happy about the hair. And now we can continue with the rest of the preparation, which speaking of, very exciting parcel that has just arrived from Rotaro. But yeah, if you haven't heard about Rotaro before, they are a rental platform where you're able to rent clothes and bags from really incredible brands. I'm talking designers. And yet the prices that you're able to rent these for are so unreal. Like some pieces that are going for like four or 500 pounds, you're able to rent for like 20 pounds, which is just nuts. And obviously a lot cheaper than buying the pieces, but also a really great way of being more sustainable. Because one thing which I noticed last year with Formula E was that I was buying so many new pieces for each race that once I essentially wore once I couldn't really wear it again which I think I spoke about this in my last video but yeah when you're on camera and when you're doing presenting or even sometimes in YouTube videos except I don't really care with my YouTube channel you guys see me wear the same stuff all the time but with presenting particularly it's definitely one where you need to continuously switch up your clothes but yeah to continue buying clothes and contributing to that industry when I don't really need to be doing that given that I'm only gonna wear it once to be working with Rotaro is just such a perfect fit for me and I can't wait to show you guys all of the fun pieces that I pick up during this Formula E season from them but for now I'm gonna shut up and unbox this bad boy then yeah, I completely forgot to mention that the returns process and how it gets shipped out is so easy. To return it, they literally already got a prepaid label that you just stick on and then you drop it off at a DPD place. Then yeah, to obviously rent it, you just go on their website, select the dates that you want it for and then they will send it out for you for those dates. Okay, so we've got two gorgeous dresses. I actually completely forgot that I rented out this one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try them on now. Fingers crossed they work. Obviously both maxi dresses with long sleeves because it's Saudi. So yeah, I'm about to go and try these on. I'm really hoping for the best. But from what I can see here, the textures and the material and quality just look amazing. Okay, so dress number one is a big yes from me. I can't even put into words how happy I am with this number. Um, I can't actually remember which brand I picked it up from, but I'll pop it on the screen here. Um, but it's just this really pretty, like pastel green color um, with puff sleeves, and then it's just completely loose on the body. Um, it does not cover my ankles, which I'm hoping isn't problematic. Yeah. It's everything and more that I was hoping in this dress. So I'm incredibly happy with this one. Um, and now I have really high hopes about the blue one. So fingers crossed it's just as perfect. Let's try it on. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, sad news. The other dress is sadly not what I was expecting. It's actually a bit too like form fitting for Saudi. I thought it was a lot baggier. So yeah, this is it. The model had it like this. So I just thought the whole thing was like really baggy. The rest of the dress is sadly just not what I was after. It's also actually a very silky material. So um, in terms of it being the style that I was after, I probably wouldn't be wearing it at the track because it's a bit dressy. It's a lot more dressy than I thought. Lols, um, haven't buttoned it at the back. Yeah, this one I'm actually gonna be returning. And one thing which is fabulous about Rotaro is that if you keep the label on, so like this thing, on your clothing, um, then you can actually get a full return and they'll just give you your money back. If you're a first time customer or if you've shopped there before, they'll give you like store credit for you to pick out another outfit. So yeah, I'm gonna see what can be done before Monday, today is Thursday, so it might not actually be possible. Um, but yeah, so happy with that first dress and I think that, that actually sorts me out with all of the Saudi outfits. Wednesday, Zara dress, Thursday, this dress, Friday, Ted Baker dress, Saturday, Ted Baker dress, yes! Okay guys. We are done, so we're gonna get out of this. And then yeah, we're very nearly done with the holiday press, guys. <laughs> Next thing that I picked up is from Amazon. Things that I picked up from Amazon are these two toothpaste. It's very random, I know. These actually link in with the whitening part of this travel prep video because if you guys follow me on my Instagram or if you could just see in the viewfinder, um, I did some teeth whitening a few months back at a dentist near me called White & Co. Let's just say over the last couple of years, I may have indulged in perhaps too many glasses of red wine and as a result, it stained my teeth. Um, but yeah, I did the whitening. I went up five shades. It was an amazing experience and process. 
us and would definitely recommend them if any of you guys are looking for a dentist. But we actually stopped it halfway between the process because I got to a shade which was like good for my skin tone. They were like, if you go any whiter, it's gonna look a bit strange. So because of that, I still have some of the serum left over which you have to keep in the fridge. Um, so over the next few days, I'm going to be whitening my teeth again to hopefully bring them back up a couple of shades because after Christmas and several more wines, they've definitely gone down a bit. So I picked up this toothpaste which actually works as a serum that you have to use before you start the whitening. Um, I deal with really sensitive teeth, so this for me is a must. And then this toothpaste, which is basically a really good whitening toothpaste um, from the company that provides the whitening gel and will allow whatever whitening I do to really last and to continuously brighten them. So yeah, I'm gonna start the process probably tonight or maybe tomorrow. Um, this is how much I've got left. So I've got about three or four days. I fly on Monday, so Sunday, Saturday, Friday. Okay, let's start this tomorrow. Um, which, speaking of guys, tomorrow is going to be such a fun day with lots going on. So on that note, I will catch you guys in the morning when I get my day started. And yeah, I think tomorrow is actually gonna be the last day of the prep. So hit the thumbs up button so far if you are enjoying it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning, show you what else I'm getting up to. Hey guys, so it's now the next day. Just got off a really exciting meeting with Formula E about everything that I'm getting up to in Saudi. Really looking forward to that and if you are not already subscribed by now make sure to subscribe because my next video will be the Saudi Arabia vlog. Yeah I'm now about to go and tackle these bad boys aka my awful nails. Um, I'm gonna do a gel manicure, I'm also gonna do a pedicure um, and I'm gonna be seeing Zara at All About You Hair and Beauty. She's literally the best nail tech in London. I couldn't recommend her more. So yeah I'm about to head out, it's literally about a 10 minute walk from my flat and then yeah we are gonna address these babies the next day I've actually just finished editing this vlog and wanted to wrap it up here I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for this week in my life whilst prepping for this trip I'm so excited for the Saudi vlog and for all of the adventures this year and getting to take you along with me for them this year I'm really gonna be in my travel influencer bag let me tell you that yeah, I hope that you're just as excited as me for it all I realized in the last few clips from yesterday I didn't really go into much detail of the things which I picked up I am gonna be sharing all of that in my next video anyway so I thought that it's best to just leave things off here. So I'm gonna love you and leave you here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you're new, then definitely make sure to subscribe. But for now, that is all. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.